Hello guys, MX Force here. So we are back, uh, another race this Sunday, the third race since the restart of the, the season. It was an amazing uh, night or end of the afternoon, let's say that, because on Sunday they are racing during the afternoon. It was raining a lot, uh, the, the track was super muddy and really tough to, to ride. The, the riders, even the top ones, they, they were having a lot of troubles uh, finding a good groove and finding some good speed to, to make the, the track. So let's go straight to the main events. On the 250 main event, we started like it has been for the past two races. Shane McElrath was out front really strong, uh, but then Mashbanks in the first lap I guess or the second one he had a big crash uh, then they had the, the red flag uh, to um, to suspend the race and to restart again um, Shane McGrath was already uh, up front and Sexton uh, he was a little bit behind I think six or fifth not sure uh, but then they had to restart again. At the restart, Shane McGrath again super strong. I think the wall shot again, but then uh, Sexton was right behind him and was uh, pressuring him since the, the beginning. And I think on the restart after three laps uh, or four, um, McGrath just made a mistake. He fell and then Saxon just overtook him. He, he struggled a little bit to find his groove and to again to, to focus on the race. Uh, but Shane McGrath was already too far. It was really hard for McGrath to try to recover, which he didn't. Uh, but was a, like a slow race and they were even lapping really into the, the field like we, it happened as well on the 450 but I think in the 450, 450s was even worse uh, they were really going into the field overlapping um, a lot of even top riders um, that on the top positions but um, it was a good race uh, the third rider was uh, Nichols called Nichols but he was already also uh, a lot behind all of those two guys those two guys that they were faster throughout all of the the day and even during the the race before on the first start and on the restart they were going super fast so it ended like that uh, Sexton first uh, McElrath second and uh, Nichols third uh, and right now Shane Sexton is in in the first position of the championship now they are gonna they're gonna have a break and it will come the the other 250 riders from the west side they will come back with Dylan Ferrandes and uh, the other guys so on the 450s uh, there was no second restart um, so since the beginning and let's just uh, make this as well let's talk about this because Ken Roxon um, he made a post during last week saying that he was struggling to um, with the breathing because he had a lot of trouble as the racetrack in Salt Lake City is a little bit elevated so he was saying that he was struggling a lot with uh, with breathing I don't know if that's only it because I told in the previous video as well, it seems like Ken Roxon is being very conservative on his racing. We have to consider as well, just a few years ago, he almost lost his arm on that big crash and seems like sometimes he doesn't want to risk that much and go for it. Uh, probably is struggling with breathing as well, but if you look at, for example, Jason Anderson, he usually struggles a lot with breathing at high altitude and he, is, he usually gets sick and everything and he is, go, he is doing really well at Salt Lake City and he is adapting really well, he even finished on the podium in third. Uh, so I don't know if that's only it about the breathing or his physical condition or just the mental side of it that he is not confident. Uh, but yeah, Ken Roxon was saying that he has trouble with breathing, but uh, I'm not sure if that's only it. Maybe just some confidence that he lost as well. The race uh, itself uh, was between 
Elite Tomac and Cooper Webb. They had an amazing fight throughout all of the, the race. Since the beginning, they were fighting for, for that position. Both of those guys were fighting throughout all of the, the race and trying to overtake each other for for a lot of times. Uh, but then just Elite Tomac found uh, his way to, to the top to the top spot and he won the race um, but yeah this one was even like showing even more the difference between the riders uh, the track was really bad I was hoping that uh, in fact that maybe Barcia had the better race for example because he, he was still or he is still in fourth position uh, or even uh, Roxon but Roxon he, he was overlapped two times so the guys Eli Tomac and Cooper Webb they were overtaking into the field right up into the fifth place so they gave two laps or they overtook two times the um, the guys into the almost fifth or sixth place I'm not sure so I guess frustrating for example guys like Barsha or Ken Roxon seeing Eli Tomac and Cooper Webb overtaking them twice in the, in the in the same race that's a little bit humiliating I guess for them but they they didn't they don't they just don't have the pace for those two guys right now Jason Anderson the, he was riding really well also uh, Osborne is he has been really fast and he has been up front as well uh, so really good for for those guys fighting for the the, the top positions and yeah he finished like that with um, Eli Tomac winning uh, Cooper Webb and then Jason Anderson and in third place so yeah next we have another race uh, let's see if it, if it is raining like this one as well uh, but let's hope that we have a um, good racing like we had this one at least between Eli Tomac and Cooper Webb they were fighting really hard to to win the, the race and just hope as well that the other guys step up a little bit and add a little bit more to the to the show and to the racing because none of them right now for what I've seen have the, the speed for, for these guys uh, and yeah that's it uh, hope you enjoyed the video guys and I'll talk to you in the next one bye